Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Derek Schomer, and today we're creating the Agent Orange number three recipe submitted by Alex. I don't even know if he submitted as much as suggested it and I just took it and threw it to my calendar. I'm out calendared out to December. So if you submit drinks, the chances are you are not going to see them until next year, unless you're smart. And by smart, I mean you start submitting some Christmas and holiday cocktails, because then I need those. <laughs> um, so this drink is an ounce and a half of Jack Daniels. Oh yeah, we're going hardcore. Like old Southern, what do they call those things? Those bars, saloon style. Um, an ounce and a half of Southern Comfort, Southern, and eight ounces of orange juice. So this is the most screwed up screwdriver ever. It's got like whiskey and crazy and all into one. And it's called the Asian Orange. Isn't that like some sort of chemical that like they had in Vietnam? This must be the third version of it. No, I didn't pay attention in history class. <laughs> oh. I'm doomed to repeat. Sad. See, we got a yep. All right. What are we doing? An ounce and a half of some Jack Daniels. And this is not bourbon. This is... Tennessee whiskey, sour mash, sour mash. Well, it fits nice. It belongs right there. Don't ever move it. Nope. Never oh. show Jack Daniels would be part. Of it. Yeah, I don't see any sponsorship money from that. That ain't gonna happen. But it warms your heart. Yeah, warms something. Warms the cackles of my heart. There's no way I'm going to be able to make this in here. Holy moly. Oh, I'm not done. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is going to fall all over you. Oh, yeah. I don't have my table there. No, you don't. I feel more... Secure if this was on tighter. Oh, I hear the air going out. Now it's safe. Anybody wondering why it's in a tiki god godhead? Yeah, it's in a tiki godhead. EverydayDrinkers.com slash awesome. That's where you want to go because that's going to send you to awesome drinks. And once you get there, you can buy these. They're not too cheap, but... I think it's like thirty for thirty dollars for four or something like that. But but they're tiki gun heads. And free shipping until the end of the year. So get that going for you. Now I didn't get any cool ideas on on a garnish for this, but this could really garnish with anything. I would say an orange, <laughs> half a whole orange stick, some strawberries. I've been scared of anything Tiki since the Brady Bunch episode. <laughs> ah, the Probably Brady Jeff. Bunch. You would think this would smell just like orange juice. This is a lot of orange juice, but it's very hard to hide these two little ingredients here. They are not sneaky, Jim. Yeah, I see what you did there. Wow. I don't even know how to respond to that. put egg whites in it. This would be so much better with egg white. So, it's orange juice. It looks like orange juice. And initially the sweetness of orange juice. And then it hits you really hard with like this crazy soury oak of, I'm gonna guess, Jack Daniels. The Southern Comfort, unfortunately, is a little bit obscure. It hard to find it. I think it's near, that's where it is. It's before the Jack Daniels hits you. You get a little bit of Southern Comfort and then the Jack Daniels kind of goes rolls right into the finish. It has a little bite of sourness going on. Now, the problem is it's getting easier to drink each time. Your brain starts to mask off the danger and go, oh yeah, that's cool, it's just orange juice, whatever. Um, that that could be dangerous. However, for in my personal opinion, there's 
two, three ounces of alcohol in here in an eight ounce drink. I understand I'm not the guy that talks about potency as my primary thing, but I feel like it, it's got too much OJ. I would like, like four ounces of OJ to my three ounces. I want to taste the spirit a little bit more. The Jack Daniels is no longer found. I can't find it. And the Southern Comfort's a little hidden. So if you're into drinks where, oh, you could taste a little bit, but you're not too fond of the alcohol kick or any of that, I want another big request. I want a cocktail that doesn't taste like a cocktail, but I still want a little, a little buzz or something. I think, first off, you're scurvy free, and you're going to have to drink a lot of alcohol or a lot of, of volume before you're going to get any type of, uh, of an effect, if you will. So if that's your goal, which I don't really consider that a goal, but I do like to taste the spirit. I spent money on the spirit, although JD's a little cheap. I want to feel it a little more. Um, question of the day. Question of the day. If you made your own liquor, what would it be, flavor slash type, and what would it be called? Or what's your favorite holiday drink? Okay, first, what's your favorite hol holiday drink? So people are gonna say gingerbread man because it's awesome. That and, is really good. And then the second, first one was, what's your favorite spirit? And what would it be? No. No, if you, I just scrolled. I thought you had it. It was long. If you created. If you create your own spirit, like yeah. all, you're just like, I'm gonna start a company. If you made your own liquor, what would it be? Like flavor. Oh yeah, yeah. And what would you call it? What would you call it if you made your own brand? Although if you are going to make your own brand, you're probably not going to answer this question, but what would be some of the flavors that you put into it? I you said that they would make a blueberry liqueur and call it Blue Bloods. Blueberry liqueur called Blue Bloods? That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but blueberry liqueur is going to be... I, blueberries are scary, man. I don't like to work with blueberries because they're just too hard to get blueberry flavor out of. Um, for me, I would go with something that's going to have... I like citrus, but I want like a zesty orange, but it needs to have a twist because otherwise it's just blue curacao or orange or triple sec, and I don't know exactly how it'd fix that problem. I'd have to think about that, but it would probably be a combination of some of my favorite flavors, and all I can think of is citrus and agave, and I'm lost. I'd have to think harder on that one, but since you guys have time, think about it. Also go to facebook.com slash cocktail TV. Fan us. Is that what you call it now? Like us? Uh, because I'm trying to figure out how to best to do this, but I think I'm going to post like some sort of question like, um, what was I going to ask? Oh yeah, I need people to test some stuff for me. So. You get some people volunteering in the Okay. But so, name is you streamer, so. Yeah, that's okay. I have all this, I gotta review these hangover remedies. The problem is, as I've been trying to tell people, I don't really drink that much. And I don't get drunk. So, if there are people that know they're gonna have a party coming up, like I know we have a Halloween party, so I might have to give a couple of the neighbors. But I have quite a few of these. So, uh, I don't really know if the brand matters, but I need to review the Bytox uh, hangover remedies. There's a couple I've had. These. These ones are pretty good. Zaka. Uh, I got like some organic ones. I got Patchwork. Uh, these have been sp some of these have been sponsors on our website. Banner ads. More Zaka ones. Um, I just got a lot of these things. And since I don't drink a lot, I've been passing them out to people. These are the ones I haven't given away. But I need somebody to, to, that knows they're Oh, I'm not done. There's more. <laughs> and then I got a whole bunch of these ones. These are cool, too. These are Broad, I think. These are actually pills. They're hydration pills. So um, I just get all these options. And I need somebody to test them. But the thing is, you have to think you're going to have a hangover. I've got a party coming up in two weeks. I'll help. All right. See, that's what I need. I need people with parties so that they can they can get out the word. I'll even put a business card in there. And then you guys can talk about how awesome we are. That sounds like a good idea. That way, I get my review. you got to tell me if you hadn't got hungover or not and if it worked. And, you know, talk us up. That's it. EverydayDrinkers.com. And remember, do it on Facebook because I need to be able to organize them all in one place. Comments in YouTube, I can't, I, I need to organize something. Okay. Teach you how to drink. Welcome to Mocktails for Kids. I'm Brianna and this is William. And we're I'm gonna William. show you how to make the electric lemonade. All right. Scary. That's a pretty cool layer there. But unfortunately, Whoa. like we have to do, we're gonna have to mix it. Will we? 
I'm supposed to drink that out of this. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I think mm. I like the ginger ale better. Now let's see. Oh, there it goes. Hit the surface. Wow. That's good. That's a, that's a dream. I'm serious here. Wow. Am I doing it? You guys have to make this one. Siblings. No siblings Siblings is cool. Hey. You have a sibling right here. Nick. Nick. Nick.